So in this video, we'll be taking up the homework on finite differences. Uh, so for the first question, they gave us the polynomial, ask us for the end behavior, state which differences will be constant, and determine the value of the constant finite differences. So to determine the end behavior, just look at the leading coefficient and the degree. And once I know the degree, I, for example, for 1a, I know that its third differences will be constant because it's degree of 3. And I also have the formula where the nth difference is equal to leading coefficient times n factorial, where n is the degree of the polynomial, to help me solve for the nth differences. Uh, so yeah, so not much to say about number one. For question two, they gave me the nth difference, and they asked me to solve for the leading coefficient. So I just have to divide by n factorial, Basically, it's a rearrangement of the formula. So divide by n factorial, and I will have the leading coefficient. Uh, for question three, um, they asked me for the n behavior, which I can find using the leading coefficient and the um, degree. I know that the fourth difference will be constant because it's degree of four. I can tell you the value of the fourth difference using the formula. And I didn't sketch the graph because uh, you can just use Desmos and, and graph it, but the big focus of this lesson is not the graph. So you can sketch the graph using the end behavior, but there's a lot of details in the middle of the graph that, that you won't be having, but we'll learn how to find that uh, in the next unit. Uh, question four, I filled in the table. And then I was able to tell you the degree based on which differences are constant. And I also solve for the leading coefficient using the formula. Okay, for question number five, they just wanted me to uh, draw some graphs given the uh, leading coefficient and the x-intercepts. So your graphs don't have to look exactly like mine, but uh, the properties the, the properties that they ask for should exist for your graphs. Uh, 